What's up everyone? In this video we're going to learn how to use PHP to send an email with the SendGrid API. We are going to create a sendfirstemail.php file that sends an email to whoever we want from our SendGrid account through the API. I have just hit the sendfirstemail.php file. Now I will check my Gmail account for any email from my SendGrid account and I have one. Sending with SendGrid is fun. Sent from my blog code at justinstolpe.com and easy to do anywhere, even with PHP. First thing you need is a SendGrid account. Head over to SendGrid.com, click on the C plans and pricing, and sign up for the free package right here. This allows you to send up to 100 emails a day forever. Click start for free, enter your email address, create a password, confirm you're not a robot, accept the terms, and then click create account. Once you click create accounts, it'll ask you for a few more details like your first name, last name, um, and a few other questions, I believe. But once you get past that step, you should come to your dashboard that looks like this. Now what we want to do is create a single sender. I'm going to click on the create a single sender, and it should bring us to the creation page where we have to enter some information. The from name is going to be the from name for your email address that you're sending from. In my case, blog code at justinstolpe.com. The reply to will also be my same, that same email address. Company address, you put your address in here, fill in all the other required information. Once you have it all filled in, click the create. We have our single sender created. Now we want to follow the steps up here. You've created a sender, check your inbox to verify your sender's identity. So I'm going to open up my inbox here. And you see I have one email. Please verify your single sender. I'm going to verify my single sender. Sender verified. Return to single sender verification. Now it says I'm verified. Now that we're verified, we see the alert up here. It says ready to send your first email. Follow our guides to email API or marketing campaign. Let's do it. Scroll down here and we're using the web API, so we're going to click start. We're going to select the web API here, recommended, choose. Here we're selecting the language to use and this video is for PHP, so I'm going to select PHP. Then we're going to follow the steps here on how to send an email using PHP. First we better make sure that we have the prerequisites 5.6 or 7.0 PHP version installed. Looks like I'm on 7.3.1 on my WAMP server locally. Next, we're going to create an API key. I'm going to give it a name and click Create Key. Now that we have our API key generated, we can actually start setting up our code. I'm going to come over here in my um, WAMP WW blog code folder and create a new folder, and we're going to call it SendGrid. Open that folder, and I'm going to create a config.php file. We're going to open this up, get our open PHP tag going, and here's where we're going to complete the next step of the process, which is creating an environment variable. So we're going to create a define for SendGrid API key in our config file. And here's where we're going to store the API key that was just generated for us. We're going to copy that and paste that right here. Now our SendGrid API define is set to our SendGrid API key. Moving on to step four, we need to install the SendGrid package using Composer. Um, if you're not using Composer, you can actually just download the latest release package, but we're going to go through the uh, Composer steps here. So this is what we want to require for Composer. So over in our folder, our SendGrid folder, we need a composer.json file if I can find my folder here. I'm going to create my composer.json, open it up, and paste the code in it, just like it states in the step from the documentation. All right, now we are ready to do a composer install on this. Head over to your command line, go to your folder. In this case, we're in WAMP WW blog code, uh, send grid. All right, we ls this. And we have our composer.json, so we do a composer install. And the composer will do its thing and hopefully install us the SendGrid package. 
looks like it's done. Let's go check out our SunGrid folder, verify it's there. Now you see we have our vendor and our composer lock file, meaning it ran. And in here we have our SunGrid folder. So our SunGrid package is installed. We have our config file with our SunGrid API key. Now we can move on to sending an email. Step five, send your first email. So I'm gonna copy this code literally right here from the SunGrid docs and paste it into, um, actually first we're going to create a new file in here. Send first email. Open that up, and here is where we're going to copy this code from the docs and paste it into our send first email.php file. We can get rid of these comments. This is going to include that under folder. It's going to auto load all the composer things necessary in order to use our SendGrid package. We start by instantiating a SendGrid mail object. Here's where we set the from email address blog code. And our emails blog code at tristanstolpe.com. This is our subject line. Sending with SendGrid is fun. Here's where we add on who we're going to send it to. I'm going to send this to my Gmail account. Next is adding the content. This looks like we're specifying the plain text, and this content here, we're specifying it to be HTML. And then we do sungrid, new sungrid, get environment variable. Here's our sungrid API key that we want to use. And the way I'm going to set this up uh, for future use is we're going to include our config.php file up here. And we can just replace um, the get environment variable with our sungrid API key. So now we have a new SendGrid object here, and it gets instantiated with our SendGrid API key. Then we're going to try to get a response from SendGrid where we actually send our email object with all of its variables. Looks like it's going to print out a status code for us. Uh, it's going to print out some headers and the body. Otherwise, we have a catch here for exception, and it will tell us what went wrong. Now we have updated their default send email code with our uh, API key, our from email, and who we want to send it to. Let's go ahead and try and run it. Localhost slash blog code slash send grid. And we're going to go to our send first email.php. Well, the response here that got dumped out looks like it says accepted. Um, today's date. I don't see anything that looks like errors here. So if we go check our email, let's check my Gmail for. Emails from blog code at justinstolpe.com. And looks like our first email has been sent successfully. Here's my blog code. Um, this is who it's from. Sending with SunGrid is fun. That was the subject that we specified. Um, and opening it up, yep, look at there. We have our, and easy to do anywhere, even with PHP, has been bolded. We have successfully sent our first email with SendGrid using their PHP API package. Before I wrap up this video, I'm going to just pull a few of these variables out um, into our config as well. I'm going to pull out the um, from email. We're going to define that as blog code at justinstolpe.com from name going to make that Justin Stolpe. All right, so I'm going to replace that right here. So now when you guys uh, download this repository, you just have to update the defines file. The other thing is going to be our to email. All right, so we'll do the same thing, but instead of from, we'll do a to. And in my case, I'm going to do my Gmail and to Justin Stolpe. Actually, the from name is blog code. Uh, there we go. And then we just replace the add to function with our to email and our to name. 
All right, and that is how we send an email using PHP with the SendGrid API. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.